Are you fans of the One Wheel Racing League? Do you enjoy watching it? Are, are you are you excited about the new things they're doing in it? Or or are you under the opinion that hey, get my stuff shipped out and skip this year with the Racing League? I'm going to hear what the ladies think here, and then I'll share my thoughts. Well, I mean, let's be honest. You already know. I, I think it's fine. I, I'm stoked. I love watching the races. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. I, mean, I already said that. <laughs> I just do. I enjoy watching the races. They're fun. I think every year One Wheel has done such a great job of covering it. Last year, I think it was Laser following with the drone behind them in the woods and stuff. So fun to watch as a viewer. So stressful, I'm sure, for Laser as a uh, dronist. Is that a term? Can I use that? Dronist? <laughs> I don't know if that's a term. You can create the term. I just Dronista. created it. What? <laughs> would you be a droneista? Like a barista? That's weird. That's weird. Not cool. <laughs> that's definitely not cool. No one would be. That's Dronista? not a personal goal, is it? All right, Lil, what are you? What one are you? Do you like drone. the ORL? Would you race in it? Yes, I like it. No, I would not race in it. <laughs> okay. No. Here, here well, is hey, the race yeah. schedule. We're on that. <laughs> when we're talking about the one wheel racing league, here you go. You can see they have one, two, three, four events. That are like your qualifiers to get to the Western Regional, which is way out over in California. And then you have the Eastern Qualifier, which is way over there in North Carolina. You have to win in the other leagues or the other semis to get into there. And then you'll make it to the finals. We do not know. We couldn't find. We didn't spend a bunch of time looking for the final day of the one-wheel race. But it's it's going to it's gonna be sweet. Like, we're pretty su- we're pretty stoked on it. Lil, or Holly, how about you? You've watched a few of them with me, I right? I love watching them. I think they're a super... I think what I like about... It's one more... This is what's fun about the One Wheel Hole as a community. It's another thing to look forward to as the community. So I think it's super fun. I would love to say I'd race in it one day, but I think we that's all know amazing. that's probably on the lower end. Of things. <laughs> I'd go and watch for you sure. Would. Now, are we the age is the, the minimum requirement is 14. I did not see that there's a you're too old to race kind of deal. So if you're 14, well, you could sign up and race. I think you're going to – I don't remember looking to see. Maybe, uh, Lily, you can kind of dig some – deeper information out of it but i'm not sure if they're racing gts or xrs i missed that part i'm so scared for race season on gts bro it's gonna be dangerous it oh is. yeah people gonna be packing right yeah it's gonna be fun to watch bro people are gonna crash it's gonna be i so would scary. wonder before the i would expect to see another firmware update before the final race i would think <laughs> agreed yeah. So, because I think I they're, they're going to have like a secret racing firmware that they give us at the race. That's my theory. Yeah, well, Ooh, I'm going to go with you, Bodie. How do I get on that? I need to be on that. Like, I'm the one to race. Gotta I get just in the race, baby. <laughs> yeah, I I know who I am, and uh, I'm no Bodie, and I'm no Javier. I'm the guy that like makes it attainable for all average riders to ride a one wheel. That's that's my role. <laughs> wow. <what laughs> but make it look title. good. I don't know. You're really fun. Make it look oh, fun. Yeah, you're, you're my really wife. Fun. You're supposed I to know, say. but you would get out with these guys and you would have a total blast. Yeah. They would all, like, you. You're really fun. But when they go and drop off something it's that's impossible than, to not have fun on a one wheel. They drop two feet off something, I'll be like, hold on, let me get off my board and uh, You would try it. You would try it. I know you would. Maybe. I'm, with, I'm with you. So I'm with you till we get together. to like six feet, and then when Bodhi starts jumping yeah, on six Bodhi. feet plus stuff, then I'm gonna be on the sideline too. Yeah, uh, I'll just film you. I know guys. my limits. Yeah, and yeah. then and then when off. Dom and the rest of the cats start doing ten foot drops, I'm gonna <laughs> sit my butt down. <laughs> yeah, but I'm definitely hoping to make it out to some of the race for the rail stuff. Um. If I can get my hands on a GT and get some riding time, I'll, I'll definitely go out and race. But uh, as it is right now, I don't have any concrete plans to be at okay. one of those. In in the ORL, uh, Bodie, you might know, I couldn't. Is it just GTs this year? Or are they going to do both XRs and GTs? To be mixed, um, right? I, I, I'm assuming it's just going to be all GT because um, that's, you know, the race to the rail has always been their way of like, part you know part of it's a race but part of it's also showcasing the product yep and i think it's going to be a mixture of the fact that the gt is just going to be faster this year um in most cases like i think the xr will have the gt downhill always because the xr can just handle downhill so well and it's so nimble 
but I think the GT with Cassiopeia and, you know, I, we're, where we're going as fast as we can. We're hoping to have the Enduro tire and some GTWs going by race season. So I think it'll just be like that the GT is just faster and also that Future Motion is trying to showcase their new flagship and be like, this is the new trail board. Because you know, they made it to be a trail board. They made it to be an extreme trail board. That's what we've been asking for. Yeah. So I'm assuming this year it might be an option, but I don't, unless, unless most of what we're racing is downhill, I don't think anybody would pick the XR over the GT if they gave us the option. So my guess is it's going to be GT all GTs, season. which is crazy because we're going to be going so fast yes. and Neil Austin, Dom, uh, Thor, um, dude, that I, I'm legitimately shaking in my boots, bro. Every time I think about race season, I kind of shake in my boots a little bit because it's going to be fast great. this year on GT. So like uh, for the ORL, are you going to all of the events? I mean, I probably will end up, dude. The 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 spirit of one wheel takes me everywhere. I yeah. I will for sure be at the Western and hopefully at the main one. I'd be a I'd be a bit of a bummer if I didn't make it to the main one, but I'll for sure be at shred fest and dirt surfers so i have the opportunity to win those and qualify there yep and then i'm not going to wheel scorcher so i won't have a, a opportunity there and then i'm definitely Carolina, going to right? the western yes right i'm definitely going to the western the western qualifier because <laughs> it's in san jose it's right down the street and uh i want to go cheer on all the all of my local homies anyway so I'll be at those three events and then hopefully find myself at the main one. And I bet you, if I don't make it into the main one, you see me doing a little something like this. Hopefully I'll be on the mic or something like that. Oh, yeah. dude, I should intentionally not get in so I can be. No, a no, <laughs> no, you can do that. If you win, here's what you do. Win this year and then never compete again and just and ride just... off into the sunset and become the announcer. <laughs> you got to win. <laughs> You can't, like... Dude, if I win, I'm going through that finishing arch. You know how everybody does the champagne and floating yeah, through yeah. his helmet and all this? I'm just going to keep Just going. keep riding. I'm that just going to so keep going. Awesome. I'm just, just going to keep going, dude. Yeah. You, yeah. Our, our hopes this year is to make it... We're going to come and we're going to try to document some of these things. We're going to get to uh, the North, the other North Carolina, the, the Eastern Qualifier. That's the event we're going to go to. And then we're going to go to the main one wheel race. I don't think Sweet. they've announced where that's at. I'm yet, sure I'll they? find myself out at that Eastern bro, at least to just come out and film. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. Get out there, film, uh, hopefully be able to rub shoulders. I would love to sit at the table as well for a little bit with the crew, just talking about the race and stuff. That'd be pretty cool, bro. They got to get you on the mic at some of these events. No, they Cause it's I like, mean, if you got personality and you know about the sport, good commentator boom <laughs> yeah, you know, he is he Jack would be an Ted do a great job they It'd be do fun they just do to awesome. sit there and laugh with them thank you i do want to say a big thanks to everybody that watches every week on our youtube channel our podcast or you listen to it without you what would be the point it would be just us hanging out in here doing nothing subscribe to the channel as we try to pump out as much one wheel content